Good morning and happy Wednesday. I am GG and this is James JG. JG. Amen. Walking with GG this morning. Yeah. I tell you, it is a beautiful day. Yeah. Wednesday, November the 8th. November, y'all. I, I did say November, but it's feeling like a spring morning out here. Gotta wrap up a little bit. It's, yeah. Sometimes it's a little chilly, but God knows this is a beautiful day. I always said the Lord is looking out for our utility bills because this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. We made it to the middle of another week. I tell you, these weeks look like they're going by faster and faster as we get into this holiday season thanksgiving and then christmas oh my goodness well this morning the daily bread reminds us that we need to know the shepherd's voice we need to know the shepherd's voice and that was the title knowing the shepherd's voice john 10 4 says when he has brought out all his own he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him um, because they know his voice. They know his voice. And my gem nugget today, I, you know, Pastor, in my sanctified imagination, I think the Lord is asking a question now, like they used to do on a commercial, a telephone commercial. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now, Jesus? That's what he's saying. Can you hear me now? And the reason I think he's asking that question, because if we were hearing him, if we were hearing the shepherd's voice and we knew his voice, we would be following him, Pastor. Yeah. We would be following him. And um, we need to know the shepherd's voice because we got all these other noises and all this other music. And uh, I remember, a message you preach, Pastor, and you ask the question, what music do you hear? Yeah. And I think Jesus is saying, can you hear me now? Can you hear my voice? Can you hear my music? But the bottom line, you need to know his voice. Yeah. And how do we know his voice? You know, the old folks used to say, you know, something told me, <laughs> no, you better be sure of that voice. You need to know the shepherd's voice. You know, sheep, they know their shepherd's voice. Um, I heard a shepherd, an actual shepherd, a person that takes care of sheep. He said that there can be several flocks of sheep. They could have like three or four different flocks of sheep. But when that shepherd that belongs to that certain group of sheep, when they hear his voice, all the other sheep, they will not follow. You can see those sheep separate when they hear their personal shepherd's voice. And I thought that was amazing because back in biblical times, they would talk about uh, shepherds would take care of each other's flock, but only the sheep that belong to that particular shepherd follow. And you know, I think the sheep are a little smarter than we are because we follow anything. We follow, uh, you know, the world's voice and everything. But not only if they don't recognize the voice, they, they not only will they not follow the voice, they'll run away. They'll run away from a stranger. I know I'm right because verse 5 says, but they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. So we need to know the voice of the shepherd. We need to know the voice of the good shepherd. And somebody said, well, how do we know the voice of this shepherd? Does he speak in a big loud voice? No. They have three ways that he speaks to you. The good shepherd. He speaks through his word. That's why we need to study God's word more. Because that is one of the ways that he speaks. And the other way that he speaks is through a believer's voice. Through a believer's voice. The preacher, 
those that are believers. And he also speaks through his spirit, through the Holy Spirit. So you need to recognize the shepherd's voice. You need to know his voice. And the way you can check it out, you can line it up. Does, it, does this line up with what the word says? Does this line up with what a believer says? Does this line up with the Holy Spirit? So it is important that you know the shepherd's voice. Am I right about that, Pastor? Oh, yes, you are very on point. Oh, my goodness. You know, I, I hate to get so deep. Go ahead, get in, deep. In this voice. Mm -hmm. You remember when Jesus Christ was on earth and he said that his voice sounded like many waters? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, his voice is still speaking as God. Oh, yeah. Himself. Because right. He was God. Right. Now, throughout my life, mm -hmm. and your life, mm -hmm. you have heard his voice through his word. There you go. Amen. There you go. And then if he said, thou shall have no other God before me, mm -hmm. which is in the word. Right. It should be in our spirit. Come on now. Because we worship our material mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. our money, our establishment, mm -hmm. and everything else. Mm -hmm. But he's saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Thou shall have no other God mm -hmm. before me. And this is an example mm -hmm. because of the word. Oh, my goodness. There yeah. you go. Yeah. There you go. That yeah. is that the shepherd's is voice. voice. Mm -hmm. So don't be looking uh, for no, no big bass voice. <laughs> I am God, I am like God. from the Ten Commandments. You know, <laughs> it is the word. And sometimes he speaks in a small, still voice, yes. but it's still the word. Yes. It's still the spirit. He can speak to another believer, yes. but it's his word. You need to know the shepherd's voice. Yes. And not only don't, don't follow those other voices, do like the sheep. Sometimes you better run away from those other voices, but because like the sheep, the sheep may be smarter than us because sometimes we just follow the world and follow the voice that's not that of the good shepherd but you better be like the sheep you better run <laughs> yeah. you know something uh that voices that some people have heard mm -hmm. and they said that they told me to kill everybody oh my that ain't that ain't it you got to think about it <laughs> mm -hmm. the satan that we know come to kill there you steal, go yeah. and destroy yeah so yep. why would god say kill everybody yeah and his voice said Thou should not kill. Yep. Yep. It says it right here. Yep. That That's the rest of John 10. He said it right there. The thief comes on it to steal, kill, and destroy. So yep. we in the word. We in the word. Yeah. So if, 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 if that voice is telling you to kill and steal or even kill and steal, uh, kill yourself, uh-uh, that ain't the good shepherd's voice. That's not the good shepherd's no. voice. So... Jesus is still asking, can you hear me now? Do you know my voice? Because evidently, because you're going the opposite way, you must not be hearing my voice. You must not know my voice. And somebody wants to say, how do you know? <laughs> it's in the word. It's in the word. It is in the word. So make sure that you are listening to the right voice so you will follow the right thing. That's why David said, the Lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still water. so he is he is the leader that guides you in the right path sure. all right that's all we have uh for today and uh if you did not tune in to church school live oh my goodness that freedom the freedom to love uh you need to you need to tune into that last night. I tell you, the spirit just hit last night because we were we were reminded that love does no ill to its neighbor. Love does not hurt. Oh my goodness! And the only thing that we should owe is love towards another. Now, if you owe somebody some money, you need to pay them their money. But when it comes to love, we always owe a debt to love 
But tune in to Church School Live if you missed it last night. I know a lot of you. That is your regular dose of your church school lessons that I teach from the International Sunday School Lessons. And by the way, you need to be subscribed to the Gym Nugget channel anyway. So subscribe to the Gym Nugget channel. Tomorrow evening, ah, pastor's going to come with life study. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Life study is Bible study. And not only do we study the Word of God, He's going to give us a word that we can actually apply to our everyday life so stay tuned but jesus is asking can you hear me now do you know my voice if you do follow me oh my goodness have a blessed day subscribe to the channel <laughs> subscribe subscribe amen. subscribe we have many people that comes on and view yeah amen subscribe and you will hear from us on your digital out there and leave a comment leave a comment yeah. i tell you we have some people that always leave a comment i forgot yesterday jackie thank you for always leaving a comment yeah. as well as miss diana as well as miss edna as well as miss lynn oh my goodness we appreciate you i know i get in trouble when you start calling names but these are our frequent viewers and we appreciate it we yeah. appreciate it. tell somebody else share it with somebody else and like my husband say subscribe, subscribe. to the jim nugget channel yeah. can you hear me now all right y'all yeah. be blessed bye bye yeah.